Stella from Food Junkie Chronicles and today, well right now, I'm standing right across from Burst Beer Hall which opened around a month ago. So basically, it's uh, Worst only serves sausages and beer. I've actually been here around a couple of weeks ago, but tonight I'm having dinner with Lisa from Hip Urban Girl, and I'm very excited. So we're finally inside, and this is a huge space, as you can see. So right here is where you order your beer, and at the far side is where you order your sausages. And we have Lisa from hey. Hip Urban Girl. How are you? Hi. Hey. Are you excited about dinner? I'm very excited about sausages and beer. <laughs> I know that like that really sounds weird, but I am also very excited about the sausages. And since I've been here before, I know exactly what I want. And I don't know about Lisa. Do you have any idea? I am looking at the currywurst where they sprinkle like curry sauce, curry. What is it? Is it sauce? I think it's sauce. Yeah. On your sausage. Uh, we're gonna have um, okay, the beef and coriander sausage with curry first, please. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do the chicken, peppers, and chili powder. Uh, which one goes uh, I think it's just called chicken. Yeah, and we'll just do that on a uh, fresh roll, maybe with some sauerkraut. You can have sauerkraut? Yeah, that's fine. Sauerkraut, and then uh, the last one will be duck. How do you want your duck? On a roll? Onions, or would you like onions? What do you want? Onions? Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. And then we're also going to do a small order of duck fries. Uh, with the spicy horse dipping sauce. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to have the chili powder. Okay, we're also going to do two si uh, peeler sizes. I'm so lazy, I just had Lisa do all the work ordering. Yay, our apple ciders are here. Cheers, Cheers girl. Woo, finally. <laughs> Mm, it's not super sweet, it's perfectly tart, and I think it'll be really good with sausage. I really like this, and this is my second time ordering it. Because I'm not a big fan of beer, so apple cider is a happy medium, I find. So, this is good. So this is our board, uh, the board verse. Mm. All right, we've got the uh, the cur uh, curry verse sauce on top. Yummy. Do you know what you know about curry verse? You... Tell me more. I'll tell you more. It's a red sauce. Yeah. It's got a hint of curry with just a, a little touch of paprika yeah. for a little bit of spice. Ooh, yummy. Um, we got the the, this one is the chicken, chicken chili, mm. sauerkraut, and then the duck with caramelized onions. Yeah, mm. that's good. Right, and I hope that these are our duck fat fries, yeah. which is a staple, the absolute to die for. And you know what, I'm gonna get you an extra dip for this, the maple rosemary, because you gotta have the salt and sweet. Really? The okay. salt and sweet combination is just a... I'm excited. Already? So last time I came, um, all the sausages were sliced up, and I'm looking forward to trying this one, where it's a whole sausage, because I feel that it might be more juicy than when it's sliced, because all the juices might have already come out of the cutting board, but um, we'll see, and I'll let you know. I just had the duck and it's amazing and it's so soft. And the um, the onions on top is the, the sweetness of the onions is perfect. What do you think, Lisa? Uh, it's really soft and moist. The sausage is just like so gentle and easy to eat. And the caramelized onions just make it. And this yeah. is the curry worst. I think this is the beef sausage and it's sliced up with curry worst sauce on it. It's actually really tasty. Okay, so the damage is done. We are um, we are pretty much done our food. Okay, like two fries left, but and uh, one piece of this, which I'm pretty sure we're gonna finish. So, what's your favorite? I'm so full. The duck sausage was definitely by far my favorite, with the caramelized onions on top. Mm. Um, the turkey was good. It had little pieces of like peppers in it, a little bit spicy. So, yeah, I was really happy. I agree with Lisa. My favorite is still the duck, um, and then the second will be the tur uh, the chicken, and the third one will be the beef. Um, all of the sauce on the beef is really good too. And I also really like the dipping sauces. I find that the, um, the, the, the was it spicy or something? It wasn't that spicy, so, but it's still really good with the fries. Um, this is the maple rosemary. Yes, that, that one's really good too. And that was suggested to us, right? So yeah, overall really good meal. And I actually like this, um, this dinner better than the one last time when I had a whole bunch of sausages and I just couldn't really tell them apart afterwards. So, this is definitely good.
That one was really funny because it took me a while because the guy who actually who actually developed the idea with me yeah. um, or made it come to fruition right. is in Quebec. So oh, wow. I had to fly out there a lot. And it took us, I think, close to two months to perfect. Oh my gosh. And just that alone, like just being able to like hang yeah. out in their test kitchen and having like mountains of flaw, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. on this side or on that side, and the scraps, wow. all lobes, breasts, legs. That's everything that's in it. Just like yeah, and maple. And maple. Wow. And then just, you know, regular, just regular salt pepper. Wow. And there's a little secret something in there too. Yeah. I've got like five to six different purveyors, oh, uh, right. Ontario, Quebec mostly. Oh. And they, so I developed these ideas with them. Oh, okay. And then they basically take them and they make them for me right. for whenever I need them. Okay, so it would be hard to turn it Yeah. And the, the thing is too is because, because they're fresh yeah. and they're all natural, there's no preservatives in them at all. Okay, so they're always fresh. They're always fresh. Never frozen. Exactly. Uh -huh. Well, I've been uh, a chef. Well, um, for quite some time, maybe 17 years now. Um, and I trained everywhere from, you know, here in, in Toronto to, you know, two-star Michelin restaurants, um, to five-star hotels in Italy. Um, I worked in New York for a while. And uh, just recently I was in LA and I was, uh, I was, I was plugging um, something that I developed over the last four years called Simple. And there's a website, it's called simplefood.com, that's S-I-M-P-O food.com. Okay. And uh, that's just something that I did on the side. And I would basically go and, uh, and cook in people's homes. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you were in LA for a bit? I was in LA for four years. Okay. Yeah. Well, number one, I love meat. Good answer. Good answer. And I just saw that, you know what, in Toronto, um, there's, I don't know, I just saw there was a niche. You know, everybody was sort of doing the burger thing. Oh, my God. Yeah, so yeah. many. Yeah. And Italian, there's a lot of Italian. <laughs> I'm not saying this is a bad thing, but no, there's some no. amazing places But you're not going to open an Italian restaurant for right. some person. Exactly. Yeah. So I thought this would be really, really nice because it also marries a love that I have beer. Mm -hmm. So beer, sausage, of course, a beautiful thing. And the beautiful thing about sausages too is that the combinations that you can actually come up with are really amazing. Like right now I'm developing a uh, duck and sour cherry sausage oh my God. because uh, cherry season is here. Yeah. Yes. Um, I love cherry. Also, apricots are coming soon, so like quail, quail and apricot. Hello. Um, we're also doing one that's like a curry lamb with uh, with mint oh, and jalapeno. Okay. So you know, it just there's a lot you can do with it, yeah. right? Yeah. There's so much you can do with it. It's really beautiful. Oh, there's also a turkey one that I'm making, turkey right. with bacon and uh, jalapeno jack cheese. Cool. So yeah. those are sort of the things. It's just exciting. Yeah.